Deadly police shootings aren't just a problem in Decatur, but cities across the country are dealing with this. Third party presidential candidate Dr. Cornell West tonight speaking out about the death of Steve Perkins, while frontrunners Biden and Trump in the race for president remain tight lipped. Dr. West is calling for accountability of the Decatur police officers and anyone else who had a part in Steve Perkins' death. The September shooting spurred by a dispute between Perkins and a repo man leading to months long protests in Decatur and demands for change in the River City. The deadly police shooting of Steve Perkins gaining national attention tonight by third party presidential candidate Dr. Cornell West. His death has cast a spotlight on injustice in Alabama. Steve Perkins shot and killed in his front yard in the middle of the night by Decatur police on September 29th. If me and my children were at home and if we would have came out behind him, it, it would have been a bigger tragedy. Just how reckless it went down. Six seconds. <laughs> That's the time it took Decatur PD to confront and fire over a dozen rounds, taking the life of this 39-year-old husband and father. The grand jury unanimously returned an indictment against Mac Bailey Marquette, charging him with the crime of murder. Too often they get away with impunity, and we had to be able to follow through on that accountability. Why? Because a black life has exactly the same value as any other human life. Decatur police went to the Perkins house on Ryan Drive with a repo man and claimed Steve Perkins threatened them with a gun. Ring doorbell camera footage revealing more about what happened that night. Authorities have yet to release body camera footage. The Decatur Police Department retracting their first statement, saying it aired and stating Mr. Perkins refused to drop his firearm prior to the shooting. I've known the police to tell all kind of lies in order to hide and conceal their crimes. Three months later, Mayor Tab Bowling fired three officers involved in the shooting and suspended one after an investigation, he says, revealed they broke rules. I recognize now the pace of this process is frustrating. Mag Marquette, Christopher McAdam, Joey Williams and Sergeant Van Summers are all appealing the decision. The Cater City Councilman Hunter Pepper standing in support of them. The officer's due process had been violated and was not treated fairly. The city of Decatur on January 25th granting the officer's lawyer's request to postpone the appeal hearings, possibly until as late as July. They were terminated and then that, that decision should be upheld um, just for their wrongdoing. They clearly broke policy and procedure, so um, there shouldn't be a second chance in this. Many in the community are still calling on the mayor to step down saying he's mishandling the situation. Resign. Um, let someone else make the decision that you're incapable of making. Don't hold a city hostage to your incapability of being a mayor. West had this to say about Mayor Bowling's role in all of this. You have to have a leadership in place that sets the tone. And by setting the tone, what that means is the culture of silence within the police department has to go. The police have to know that when they do something that's wrong, they will be rendered accountable. They will be punished no matter what. Protesters of the Justice for Steve Perkins movement now doubling down in their fight against Bowling's rule, requiring demonstrators to get permits. Now, I don't want the protesters to, you know, be in the, the mayor's front lawn, uh, messing with the kids, anything like that. We got to respect each other's families. I, I think that's very important, no matter what color the mayor is, you know. But people have a right to protest. Nonviolent protest is a fundamental right that's constitutionally validated. While the Perkins family grapples with their loss. What happened to Steve was just like a modern day lynching. Only thing that they didn't use a rope, they used a gun. And like I said, Steve didn't deserve that. Dr. West tonight, sending the family a direct message. I pray that the family has strength, the family has determination and fortitude because it's something that is beyond description in terms of dealing with that kind of death. But also know that they are part of a great cloud of witnesses of black folk who have bounced back.
in the face of overwhelming catastrophe. The city did revise that ordinance yesterday. The police in the U.S. killed a record number of people last year, more than 1,300 according to the Mapping Police Violence Project. Tomorrow on Way 31 News at 10, hear from another candidate for president who's speaking out about the death of Steve Perkins.